Hi guys, it's Audra and today I have a tag video. It is the questions nobody asks tag. Um, I was just like going through YouTube and there was this girl, kind of young to mid teens, maybe like 15 or so. Um, and she just made up this tag and so I kind of took it. Um, but I know Christina from Cut the Fat is doing tag videos too. So Christina tagging you. It's a long one, just so you know. Um, <laughs> so again, it's like six o'clock in the morning. Just got out of the shower. Um, <laughs> so let's get started. I haven't even read through all of these. I read the first couple and was like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and there's 43 questions. Yeah, so do you go by a nickname? Um, yes and no. Growing up, I went by Nikki because my middle name is Nicole. Um, once I got into like sixth grade, I think it was, I started going by Audra because there were just so many Nicoles. Nicole is a very popular name. Um, you know, it's kind of funny because I'm a Nicole, my cousin is a Nicole, and my sister-in-law is a Nicole. <laughs> so we have Nikki, Nikki, Nikki and we spell them all differently um so family calls me nikki <clears throat> my husband calls me nikki but friends co-workers all call me audra <clears throat> and actually now my mother has gotten into the habit when she introduces me to people she calls me audra so um when driving do you listen to cds tapes the radio or nothing it's either the radio or nothing um, and the radio, the presets on my car radio, pretty much every preset is a different genre of music. Kind of depends on the mood I'm in. For the most part, I listen to a mix um, station, so um, I kind of get a little bit of everything. They play a lot of 80s and 90s stuff, which I love. Um, kind of brings me back. Um, and sometimes you just need a little Cindy Lauper in your life, right? Um, and um, the other one I listen to a lot is the P NPR. I was gonna say PBR, but that's a beer. Um, so yeah, those are my top two that I listen to, um, or I just turn it off completely. Sometimes I'm just like, it's annoying me and I don't need it. Um, are you a window person or an aisle person? I'm assuming this has to do with airplanes. I am a window person only because I don't get up to pee or anything um, or I try not to. The only time I've ever peed on an airplane was going to Korea and I had a 13 and a half hour flight from Atlanta, Georgia to um, Tokyo Nikita Airport in Japan and I got up twice. In that time but most of the time when I'm flying it's like uh, you know four hour I think five hours like the max outside of my you know trans-pacific one so I usually like to sit in the aisle that way I'm not bugging anybody like and nobody's bugging me they can get up and go and do what they need to do um how do you relieve stress I don't I bottle up stress like crazy. Um, I guess a calming, relaxing thing for me would be my planning, my scrapbooking, um, even cake decorating, cookie decorating, the cake baking, cookie baking part is stressful for me, but the decorating part can be very relaxing, especially if it's something I'm not doing for the first time, so I'm not messing it up. What's your favorite childhood TV show? That's really hard because I am so nostalgic for TV shows, especially ones from like the late 80s, early 90s. Um, like, let me put it this way. Last night I was watching Winnie the Pooh from 1977 because I used to watch it as a kid. Um, the Woozles was one which most people had never heard about. As a kid, I didn't really watch Nickelodeon, which a lot of my friends did. 
Um, I watched a lot of Disney Channel. It was like my parents wanted me to watch Disney Channel. Um, you know, they paid the extra money for it. <laughs> you know, I was the cool kid. Um, so The Woozles was on the Disney Channel. Um, I loved Mr. Wizard. I loved Bill Nye. All, any of the science shows I was in love with. Uh, Beekman's World, that sort of thing. Um, Winnie the Pooh was one. And then when I got into like middle school age, it was Boy Meets World. Um, oh, Full House was a good one. Um, yeah, there were, there's a bunch like running through my head a million miles an hour, but I don't know, that's really hard. Cosby Show, Family Matters with Steve Oracle. I love that show. Yeah, West Philadelphia, born and raised fresh prince. You have to, right? I mean, ah, okay, I, I gotta stop. Um, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? An astronaut from the time I was four until the time I was 23. Um, and that only ceased, well, it didn't really cease. I still want to be an astronaut. It's just I came to the realization after my car accident, I'd never be one. Um, what was the best prank you ever pulled off? None. I am not good at pranks. My husband is, I'm not. Um, if you could have dinner with any three people, whom would you choose? This is a really hard question for me. I mean, people from the past, people now, like people dead. I, I don't even know. Um, let's see. I guess. If I have to choose, I'm going to dinner. Do they have to be at the same dinner? Because that might not be a good idea. So if I have three different dinners, okay, then what three dinners would I have with what three people? Um, Patrick Stewart, I guess. I love Patrick Stewart and everything he does is amazing. Everything from Star Trek to Family Guy to Christmas Carol, on Broadway, off Broadway, I love Patrick Stewart. Um, Gandhi, I guess, would be another one. Just because he was so at peace and he seemed to be, you know, so in touch with everything and understanding and caring and loving and all of that. And I would love to just talk to him. And. Robert Oppenheimer. I know it seems like a weird choice if you know who he is. He was the father of the atomic bomb. And he went through a lot. Um, a lot of people don't realize that while he was really into making this bomb, he was at Los Alamos and everything, he really struggled because he knew what this bomb was gonna be used for. Um, and so to talk to him now and like kind of give him an idea of what we use nuclear power for now like see if he feels okay with it like you know it's that you have this amazing world changing you know invention basically <laughs> okay um that can be used for good or evil what do you do and how do you make that decision so i guess he would be another one um if you could get back any article of clothing you once wore, what would it be? I don't know. I guess there was this shirt that I got and it was pink and it had like a ruffly collar. I know I've worn it, I think in like past videos, like really old when I was first doing this videos. Um, it had a ruffle and then it had like a little tie bow that came down and it had like a little nice roughly kind of sleeve and then it came down like past my waist and that was a really cute shirt and I got rid of it and all that and I just noticed this might be really dark probably should move ah now it's a little bright Ooh, can we find a happy medium there we'll do that now you can see my face Okay, if you could hire any actor to portray you in a movie, 
Who would you choose? Something I've never thought about. Who would play me in a movie? Megan McCarthy. That seems really weird because I'm not funny at all. Like, I try to be funny, but I'm not, and I'm still dealing with this light thing. It's like really harsh. There we go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'm not funny at all, but I just feel like, I feel like she would probably do the best job at me. Like, I think she could really do me trying to be funny and then not working out. <laughs> Cause that's what happened. Like I told kind of like a joke, I was trying to be funny to my husband in the car and we were talking about how humid it is here in Florida and how he hates the humidity. And in Arizona, it's so dry that like, the heat is a little more bearable. And I was like, yeah, until somebody sneezes and then the humidity goes up and he's like, what? I'm like, I was trying to be funny, ignore it. <laughs> okay. If you could play any instrument, which would you play? I actually used to play instruments. I don't know if I still could. I played the flute and I played the French horn in middle school and high school. Um, I also played percussion in elementary school. Um, I guess, is there any instrument I would like to play that I don't? Guitar, actually. Because I can play the piano, too. My mom made me do lessons and stuff when I was really little. Um, not well, mind you, but I know how it works. I know the mechanics of it. Um, so I'd really like to learn how to play the guitar, I guess. Um, and if you could hear anyone in history give a speech, whom would you hear? Another difficult one because there's so many great, great speakers. Um, Martin Luther King, I guess. I mean, I would love, love, love to be in the audience listening to him give his I Have a Dream speech. Um, I've heard recordings of it and it's just amazing. I could only imagine being there. Um, I think that would be a really good one. But again, there's really good speakers out there, good and bad. I mean, honestly, let's be honest. I've heard actual recordings, full length recordings of Hitler. That man is an excellent spe speech, uh, speaker, <laughs> speech writer, whatever. I mean, granted his message I do not agree with, but the way he did it and captivated the audience was just genius um, and that's why I believe he became so influential over the German people um, but yeah I would love to be there for the I have a dream speech I've been to Lincoln Memorial I've stood right where he was standing when he gave the speech I've heard the recording before but to be there watching him it's amazing if you could live in one city for the rest of your life where would you live <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just gonna throw Pensacola out there. I don't know. Um, if you could make any fictional character come to life, which would it be? I should have read these questions beforehand because these are actually, some of these are really good questions. I mean, any fictional character come to life, which would it be? I don't know and I mean my mind's going through books mostly like book characters but hmm that's a really hard one I'm kind of at a loss. I guess my mind first went to, and I cannot remember her name, 
the main character in the um, what is the name of that book series? My mind keeps saying series of unfortunate events, but it's not that book. I know it's not that series. It's another one. Um, A Wrinkle in Time. The main character from The Wrinkle in Time, the girl, and, you know, in the book, in the first book, she's off saving her dad. They're going through multiple dimensions throughout the universe, her and her brother and a friend. Um, the second book, she goes into her brother's body because he's dying and nobody knows why, and her and her friend go in there and they, you know, have to convince the cells that they're actually harming somebody. Like, she's such a smart girl. She's a very imaginative girl. Um, very courageous. Like, I don't know. I guess that would be the one because that's the first one that popped in my head. When you were a kid, what did you dress up? As for Halloween, I don't know. I was never a huge fan of Halloween. Um, and it wasn't because I don't like Halloween. It was because I don't like dressing up. I really don't. Um, the only costume I remember was the costume from my very last Halloween that I like dressed up for and celebrated and all that, which I was 10. I didn't even go trick-or-treating. I helped my mom hand out trick-or-treating candy because I didn't want to do it. There was something about going around, knocking on strangers' doors, and asking them for candy, I just don't like. And even as a little kid, I didn't really like it. Um, I think the last time I actually enjoyed myself, I was like five. Um, so that was just me in a pretty frou-frou pink dress with my hair done, my makeup done. I guess I was a princess. I don't know what I said I was. That was it. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Open, only because my husband never closes his. Um, if you could be any cartoon character, who would you be? Hmm. Cartoons. Now my mind's really racing. I really should have read these through first. Um, cartoon character. Miss Frizzle. <laughs> I got it. I would love to be Miss Frizzle and have a magic school bus and be able to take my ki my students, my kids. Teachers always call their students their kids on um, like these amazing adventures and make them really small and see how everything works or make them really big or, you know, oh, Miss Frizzle would be awesome to be. Um, do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from hotels? No, I don't. I don't take the towels, I don't take the robes, I don't take nothing um, because I don't use them. I bring my own. Um, have you stolen a street sign before? No. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? out and that's because of my husband he like even when we go to my mom's house she has all the covers tucked in and I just like pull it open but the feet are still tucked in and he'll rip them out he's like I can't have this done so yeah would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees that's not a pleasant question um Bees? I guess it would feel more like getting a tattoo. And I've seen and heard some horror stories about bear attacks. Yeah, I don't want to get attacked by a bear. Okay. Um, do you always smile for pictures? No. Um, and really, a lot of times I don't smile like really big for pictures because my cheeks get really big and then it's like my eyes close and I'm like... Yeah, see how I'm like, my eyes get really small? Mm -mm. Have you peed in the woods? Yes. I remember I did that when I was like eight. I was out with my dad setting up some hunting stands up in the trees and I had to pee and he said just be in the woods and I didn't like it. Um, but that was the last time. Cause I'm not like in the woods for long periods of time anymore. 
very often. What size is your bed? We have a king size pillow top. What is the best concert you ever attended? I haven't attended too many, I'll be honest. I've attended like two or three Rascal Flats concerts and I've been to a Reba concert. And then I've been to some like county fair concerts where people came in, um, like Kenny Loggins when I was really little. Um, I've also been to some of the like big like music fest things and you know, um, what's the name of that band? They sing Kryptonite. I can't remember. They were there. Um, but really, I think the most entertaining was the Reba concert. It was my first concert. I was 13. It was my 13th birthday present. I went with my aunt um, because none of my friends at the, t well, at the time I was new at school and I didn't really have any friends. And the friends that I did have didn't listen to country music. I was the only freak um, that did. And I say freak, I wasn't a freak, but um, maybe I was 12. I think I was 12. Maybe it was my 12th birthday. Yeah, because I think I was in like sixth grade. Huh. But um, we went and she is amazing live. Oh my gosh. Yes, she was lip syncing. I caught her lip syncing. But in all honesty, she was jumping from like a, you know, six foot stage prop platform down to the ground and then doing some dancing stuff. I don't blame her for lip syncing. I'm not one of those haters. Um, but I think I counted 23 costume changes. Woman was on it the entire time. I mean, it was amazing. Um, what is your song of the week? I don't have song of the week. Right now, happy just popped into my head, so we'll call that one. This might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Yeah, that just popped in my head, so we'll call that my song of the week. Do you still watch cartoons? Uh, what kind of cartoons? I watch Family Guy. I watch a lot of Family Guy. And I'll watch, like, animated movies. Like, I watched Winnie the Pooh from 1977 last night. Um, I watched Turbo not too long ago. So yeah, I mean, I watch animated movies. I don't know if those are cartoons, but I haven't seen like Bugs Bunny or anything, Rugrats or anything like that in, in any recent history. Um, when was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? Uh, a couple months ago. Um, but that was, I was doing it for my students. Um, I write them letters throughout the year, just, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And I send those out. How many languages can you speak? None. Um, actually, okay. This is what I tell my students at the beginning of the year. English language is hard. I misspell stuff all the time. I miss say stuff all the time. It's a difficult language. Um, but I speak it just not very well. Um, yeah, so English, I've, um, and I'm at a very novice level um, of German and American Sign Language, and I've learned just a few words in Russian and then a few words in Korean. I know how to count in Korean, but I don't really speak them. Do you believe in ghosts? How much time do you have? Um, as a science person, I don't believe ghosts are the spirit of people that are coming around to give you messages, to help you, guide you in your life, or to interact with you. They're not coming from beyond the grave. I don't believe in that. Um, I believe there's a physics explanation. Um, I do believe in the multiverse theory um, and the soap bubble theory of the creation of the universe. Um, so yeah, not super huge on the Big Bang theory. Um, I mean, it is a legitimate theory. It has been supported by a lot of research. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that I believe that there's more than one. And I believe that ghosts are one of two things. So you have intelligent um, like contact, and I believe those 
are more like kind of shadows, imprints of the other dimensions, other universes that just happen to kind of peek in and go. Um, I know that we live in a three dimensional world. Our brains are three dimensional in that we cannot comprehend anything outside of the three dimensional realm. Um, this is just, this is a fact. We cannot comprehend what it's like to be in a two dimensional world or a four dimensional world. Um, so if there are beings in a four or five or six dimensional world and they are able to kind of interact with us, we would only see a 3D representation of them. So if they are kind of coming and going and all that stuff, we wouldn't necessarily see them um, in their full, because our brain can't comprehend them. So we can't see them in their full representation and what they really look like and all of that, what they really sound like or anything like that, only in what our brains can comprehend, okay? The second type of haunting is a residual haunting. And that is when the same thing happens at the same time every day. And I kind of think of this as like stirring a bowl of water, right? So the environment, especially residual hauntings happen a lot when the environment hasn't changed. It hasn't been muddied up. Okay, a lot of people say they see it when they first move into a place or when they first go to a place and then after a while it like stops. Okay, and basically I think of it if you have this big bowl of water and you're stirring it up and you stir it really fast and then you take the spoon out and you stop stirring and it still spins. Um, I kind of think of them as those. It's not really like a person like doing it. It's just the environment is was stuck in this pattern for such a long time and then all of a sudden it stopped and it's still kind of swirling around and then it just like fades out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if any of my theories will ever be proven, but that's what I think of ghosts. Um, what was your first concert? Already answered that. See, I should have read these. It's Rebo. Um, Cheetos or Fritos? Puffy Cheetos, please. Can you curl your tongue? Yeah. <laughs> um, ever want a spelling bee? No. And I got kicked out. I was like in the top two or something. And then this was like second grade. And I misspelled Wednesday. Guess who's never spelled Wednesday wrong again in her life? <laughs> um, own a record player? Nope. Who would you like to see in concert? Okay. Let's get real here. I'm not a big concert fan. Um, and I know so many artists are lip syncing anyway. So I don't know. Um, who would I like to see in concert? Britney Spears. I'd like to see her in concert. I know. I get a lot of hate for saying I'm a Britney Spears fan. But really, she is a good musician. She may not be the best vocalist because she's not. Um, I really believe there's so many other people who vocally are better than her, but watching her music videos, watching videos of her performances and stuff, I mean, she's a great entertainer. Why wouldn't I want to see her? Um, sugar cookies or snickerdoodles? Uh, sugar cookies. I love sugar cookies. Can you swim well? Yes, my dad made sure of that. Um, I learned how to swim when I was really little. And I remember my mom took me to the base pool and paid for these lessons that were supposed to be so many weeks long. And the very first day, my best friend and I actually went, um, Brianna, Brianna Kid. Um, she and I went together and we're in the pool and Brianna was having a hard time with like the movements of her arms and her feet. And he was showing with his other kid. And he's like, see, you do it this way. And he's like holding the kid up. And it's like, you know, so you move your arms like this. And then you just kick your feet really hard. And I remember I went like this. And I just jumped up and like started and started swimming. And he's like, yeah, just like that. And that was it. Like the rest of the stuff, it was like, I know how to swim now. Um, and then my dad wanted me to be an Olympic swimmer. His, his father was a 
diver on his high school dive team and I don't know why but my dad wanted me to swim and so he used to put me through all kinds of drills and stuff and so I learned how to swim. He did the lifeguard training with me. We lived near the ocean for a while and he taught me how to swim into the waves and all that stuff. Um, are you patient? I would say yes I am. You have to be as a teacher um, and especially with little kids like I notice a lot of people get really irritated with little kids, especially when they're like screaming, throw a tip or tantrum, whatever. It doesn't really bother me most of the time. It kind of gets to me when the parent isn't even trying to do anything about it. Like that really bothers me. But um, like if like if I'm on an airplane and there's a baby, I know that baby cannot like tell their parents my ears hurt and get me out of here I'm in so much pain okay so it's gonna cry <clears throat> nothing to do with that and every parent is like you know trying to help their baby and they're holding them and patting them and all that stuff and that's fine but like I was at a <clears throat> I, blah, 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 blah. I was at um, Michael's is what it was and there was this kid who must have been like five years old throwing a temper tantrum in the cart and the mom was completely like ignoring him for the most part. Um, and you could hear him. Like we went to the opposite side of the store, like as far away from you them as you could. And it's just this high pitched screaming. And I'm like, at this point, I would give up on my, you know, shopping because this is not happening like this. And I know you know, I told my husband, I'm like, my mom never took me out until I was old enough to not act that way. And I used to be a babysitter in college and I had moms who would call me and say, I have errands to run and I can't take them with me because they're gonna throw a temper tantrum. So they would hire me and I so see myself being that kind of person. Like, I can't disrupt someone else's time. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm patient though, like, with, you know, especially little kids, like, it's fine, it's gonna be okay, take your time, you know, all that. DJ or band at a wedding? <clears throat> I had neither. <laughs> um, I had my stepdad with his phone and a little speaker at my wedding. I mean, it worked really well, but yeah, I didn't have anything I think I like the idea of a DJ better, just because they can play a larger variety of songs, right? Um, ever won a contest? Yeah, actually I did. Um, in school, we had a story writing contest, and it was just for like my grade level class. Um, and we had to write a short story, a fictional short story, and I won by unanimous vote. So, yay! I don't even remember what I won. Do you have kids? No. Do you want kids? This is the last question. Yes, I do want kids. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to have children. Um, so, I've been off of birth control for four years. I'm still not pregnant. So, I don't think I can have kids. But... Um, my husband and I have discussed it and, you know, we're open to the possibility of adopting and that sort of thing. We just want to give it a little more time. Um, but by the time I reach about 37, 38, we're going to have to seriously start thinking about adoption because I don't want to risk all the complications that come from being an older woman having children. So that was it. Feel free, I know it's a long one, but feel free to do it um, or at least do part of it or whatever. Um, and let me know in the comments below if you are doing it so that I can find you and watch it because I'd love to hear your responses. And I will have the questions all down below in the description bar. So I hope you have a great day. Bye.